How do you do? Uh, my name is Detective Moore. Thanks very much for taking time out of your work here at the hospital to meet with us. I'm going to be asking you a few questions today. Um, this is our interpreter, uh, Jane Tubergen. If I could have a moment. Um, I have informed him that the way we're going to proceed is that you will ask a question in full and then I will interpret and when he responds I will watch and then I will interpret and if the question or answer goes a longer amount of time I may interrupt you ask you to pause for a moment so that I can do the interpretation of what I remember and then you may continue so okay. we can proceed okay um, Today I'm going to be asking you a few questions about the uh, incident which took place at Terry's Bar and Grill, which is located on 10th and Main. Okay. I'll be speaking about the murder of Scott LeBain, which took place on June 20th. Um, uh, on or around uh, the, the the actual 20th uh, between 6.30 and 7.15. Uh, could you please state your full name for us? My name is Ray McConnell. Okay, and what is your address? Thirty-two fifty Rock Ridge Road in Baltimore. Can you work here at the hospital? Yes. In what department? I work in the endocrinology department. How many years? I've been there for seven years. On the evening of the 20th, um, you were at the restaurant. Uh, did you go directly from work to the restaurant, or did you go somewhere else before you went there? My friend Paul and I went directly from the hospital to the restaurant, uh, to the bar and grill. Okay. And what time uh, did you arrive at the restaurant? Uh, 
I get off work around 5, so I finished up some things, and then we went over there. So I would say we probably walked in about 5.30. 5.30. Okay. And where did you park uh, relative to the restaurant? I'm not exactly sure where we parked because Paul drove, but I do know from where we parked to the restaurant was about a 10 minute walk, but I can't remember exactly where. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, when you arrived at the restaurant, uh, did you uh, see Scott LeBain there? I did notice he was there already when we came in. Okay, and uh, wh where was he? When you come into the restaurant right off of Main at the front door, to the left, straight out is the bar, and he was standing at the end of the bar. Okay, and did you speak with him? I didn't, we didn't speak to him, but when, when I came in, we kind of nodded at each other and said, hi, how you doing? And then that was it. How would you describe your relationship to uh, Mr. LeBain? Um, he works in he worked in the hospital, so during break times and meal times, I would go down to the cafeteria, and mostly our it was an acquaintanceship. We would nod at each other, hi, hello, doing well, and that would be it. Mm -hmm. Okay. And <clears throat> where did you uh, where were you seated in the restaurant? Um, when you c come in the front door off of Main, to the left is the bar, to the right are some tables, and we were sitting at the third table from the front door. Okay. So the, uh, the, murders took pl the murder uh, took place in the bathroom. Um, you could see the bathroom door from where you were seated? Uh, yes, we could because I had my back to the front door and Paul had his front to the front door and both of us could look to the side and see the restroom door. Okay. Now, uh, was uh, Scott LeBain drinking that evening heavily? I really don't know because I wasn't paying attention. Uh, however, I, on occasion, I have seen him drinking, but this particular evening, I wasn't paying attention, so I don't know if he was or not. Did you notice anything unusual about his behavior? Uh, 
Um, usually, we have frequented that restaurant on occasion, and most of the time when, when I go in there, Scott is very friendly, very happy-go-lucky. He smiles, says hello. But this particular evening, when I went in, he nodded hello, but he looked very somber, and I assumed that maybe something was happening at work. Mm -hmm. Was he speaking with anybody else at the bar? He was just alone by himself. Mm. And uh, did you see him enter the bathroom? No, I did not. No, you did not. Okay. Did you notice that he was no longer at the bar at a certain point? I wasn't really paying attention. Okay. Okay. Um, the murder took place in the bathroom, and um, I'm wondering if you can describe any one, anything that seemed unusual, any activity going in and out of the bathroom. Um, did you see anyone enter it at any particular time? Really, it wasn't anything odd to happen, so. Mm -hmm. So, um, did, so you didn't see anyone enter the bathroom, exit the bathroom, no unusual activity, anything unusual that evening? Um, well, I do know that when I went in there, I did see one I, I knew most people by face, and there was one person in particular that I could see um, at a table, two, two tables away, and they didn't quite fit in. So uh, this person had from what I remember, never been in the particular restaurant before. So really, other than that, I don't know. I did notice that one man. And how would you describe him? Um, uh, that particular night, you have to understand, it was kind of dark, so I can't give you exact details because it was uh, storming outside, so it was already kind of dark and the restaurant was dark. And where this particular man was sitting was underneath a light, so I could see his upper body and on, on his left arm he had a tattoo of what looked like a flower. It could have been pink, it could have been red, I'm not exactly sure, but I did see that. And he was, the shirt he was wearing was a short sleeve, kind of a gray color shirt. So I was able to see the tattoo. Mm. And how would you, dis what was his physical description, his height, his weight, hair color?
Um, he had blonde hair and he had a mustache, from what I could see. Plain kind of face. I couldn't tell you how tall he was because I saw him sitting down. But as to weight, he was a medium build. Mm -hmm. And how would you describe his uh, complexion? Light skin, dark skin? Um, his, his, going back to his hairstyle, it was uh, a regular man's style length, not very short, but not long. And his mustache was a thin mustache. It wasn't a bushy one. Um, as to his facial complexion, it was, he was white, but other than that, he was just pretty average. Mm -hmm. Did you hear him say anything? Oh, yeah. No, because okay. I'm deaf. Well, I mean, you can't hear anything at all. Okay. No. Correct, I can't hear no, anything. No yelling or anything like that. Okay. okay. How I'm would you deaf. describe your vision? Um, I have what is called Usher syndrome, which means I have problems seeing at night. Unless there happens to be, however, a light shining on something in particular, then I can see it. But usually at night I have difficulties. Okay. But you could see this, this gentleman clearly. Yes, I could see him, and in particular, the tattoo caught my eye. Did you see him leave the, leave the restaurant? Not really, because Paula and I were so engaged in conversation, I didn't see him. And what time did you leave the restaurant? I would say we left somewhere between 7 7.15. And where did you go afterward? Paul and I went to the sports bar. The sports bar. And where is that located? I don't know exactly where it is because it's Paul's favorite place and he asked me if I would like to join him that evening and I said sure, so I'm not exactly sure where it is. Mm -hmm. Do you recall what you were wearing that evening? I was wearing a green shirt with blue jeans. Okay. And when did you find out that a murder had taken place?
Um, well, what it ha I had no idea that anything had happened. And the next day, Paul called me in the morning and said, oh my gosh, have you read the newspaper? There was a murder in the restaurant we were in last night. And we were there the same time it happened. So we both came to work and we talked about it and we decided we needed to report that to the police. Okay. We had made the decision to report it to the police uh, after coming to work the next morning. Did you notice anything at all unusual about that evening other than what you've described? No. And the last time you saw, you saw Scott LeBain was standing when he was standing at the bar at approximately would you, what time what time would you say was the last time you saw him? Um, I, I did notice he was there when we got in, and we had been engaged in conversation. I can roughly say the last time that I noticed he was still at the bar is around 6.15. That feels about right. Um, and then I, I noticed him at 6.15, went back to my conversation, and then forgot about him. Okay, about 6.15. It's ar around there. Okay, good. I, I think that's all the questions we have right now. And we'll be in touch with you if we need any more information. Thanks very much. Sure.